Good evening and welcome to this edition of um, the Evening Review. My name is Sukhana Klache and joining us on Women's Day is gender activist Ms. Rosa Namises. Welcome to the Evening Review, ma'am. Yes, thank you. Well, while, while the theme or while the day celebrates issues around um, Women's Day, um, another issue we thought um, as, uh, as the Namibian son to talk about is the plight of the, the, the son community. Um, how, how rife would you say alcohol abuse is and um, how is the abuse of alcohol um, um, impoverishing the lives or affecting the ways in which um, the, 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 the son are living? Yeah, um, I think that is a matter. I'm actually shouting out to the son women. I know that they don't even know that this is happening today, but I called and I told some of them that Happy Women's Day and with a smile on the other end of the phone, uh, giggling, I, I hear uh, the uh, appreciation. Uh, but I think the question of alcohol and alcohol abuse is coming a long way. And I think it is a created problem. Um, it's a problem that those of us who think we uh, privilege have introduced to the Sun community. Those community members were tea tots. I can sit with the Sun people and they drink their tea. Herbal tea they have been drinking. Of course now when there is five roses and, and rooibos, that's their tea. So um, the alcohol abuse comes from those occupation to occupation. When there was the, the, the regime of, the, of South Africa, they were provided mostly also with alcohol. When post-independence, now people employ the sun people and the only payment is alcohol and uh, a little bit of maybe a $20. But of course, they don't have much around where they stay in the villages to buy. So that $20 get even exchanged for alcohol. And so alcohol is a very big phenomenon in the lives of the Sun people. Um, it's only now this year that you sometimes hear, no, I used to drink, but I'm now stopping drinking. But they are drinking small and old and young, let me say. They mm. are really drinking, and that's where the bodies are very fragile, and they are attacked easily by TB, and that's the most disease that they get. And then they are also impoverished because the, the alcohol is dominating. Mm. Mm. Um, how can we um, reinstall or revive the culture of the Sun community and mm. then what in your view is the answer to uplifting um, this community? Mm -hmm. I think um, everyone has really tried to be there and the Sun people have been very open themselves to receive whoever comes to them. Very welcoming people of course. Um, the first thing is that we need to stop to label them. They're not marginalized. We cannot call people marginalized people. When you call the son or me marginalized or uh, poor, uh, stupid person or something to that effect that is negative, I take that. I believe, and, and that's what the son have done. They are marginalized. They are at the margins of, uh, at the periphery of, of life, mm -hmm. and therefore they need and they deserve um, to be given. That, that's what the naming is doing. So for me, what is, uh, there is a very richness with these people. They have a very rich culture and practices and ceremonies. Even so, when the, the healing can take place, when these people are so much in uh, becoming an alcoholic, they can give them medicines, they can give them the songs and so, and then by doing so, they can. So we must help them to revive their culture and the good cultural practices to be put in place. Mm. And then they are beautifully craftswomen and craftsmen. Mm. So they do so much these uh, beautiful bits with so much um, humbleness and so much love. So that is to be helped. And thanks to the foundation, the Nanyai Foundation, 
uh, that they are really working on that, helping them to put that craft out in a dignified manner, creating beautiful beads and earrings and many other things for them to make a sustainable life. I think that is something we can do. The other is to provide leadership training, workshop awareness workshops, really doing advocacy on their behalf so that they can start to look at things in a holistic way where the children can go to school because they get called back for harvesting and, and they, they also um, for gathering times they are all there being out of school. So the schools that is provided for the sun should be made according to their plan mm -hmm. and who at the times that they are doing the thing. So also they are very good in gardening. I have seen that they have set up gardens and they work with the garden. So I think we should, they are not so much cattle herders. They are more also wild, wild hunters. So the conservancies have allowed them to hunt a bit, but not mm, with um, guns and any other, but with the bow and arrow, mm. like they used to be. So that's also an opportunity. So in this, they, they are doing it the other way. And, and that is where I feel they need to be helped to bring back their cultural practices. There is a, another thing where they know how to forgive, the, how to deal with conflict. So in this way, they can be helped to bring back, because the sun was the last pillar where violence could not happen. The mm. sun man would never beat if he's not drunken. So, but now he beats his wife or his girlfriend, and then to the extent that they raped now and killed. So that means they have turned the violence against them now uh, because they were violated most of the time by other people. So we need to talk to them about conflict resolution, which is something that they know in their culture. They do peace, peace work um, by, by um, maybe we're talking to each other under the tree and, and stopping each other, advising each other. So that can be utilized. Besides that, the main big things are to provide resources to them for gardening, for bit making, uh, for hunting, for cultural, eco-tourism. Eco Those are the things that will help them. Yeah. Uh, there's a phenomenon um, that uh, whether we want to admit it or not exists that um, some people, particularly those living in um, rural communities, are brought into Ventuk um, and are given very, very um, low-end jobs. For example, they, they clean houses or they have to mm -hmm. um, clean yards or even on the farms they do the most, um, mm -hmm. the, the most basic work. Mm -hmm. How much of that do you think does that affect the, the confidence of the Sun community? Uh, that is called cheap labor and also child labor. So that in itself already has made the Sun community feel like they are enslaved. Mm -hmm. Because when they are brought into the cities, into the urban area, they never go anywhere. They see as a little girl, they see that the, the owners, so-called owners, children are going out in the morning to school and they don't go to school. So how does that make them feel? I hear them say, you are more saying we are nothing. So they feel nothingless. They feel as nobodies. They also feel that this treatment is allowed and that it can happen with, with them at any time with anybody who takes them. So they don't challenge that. I think what they also feel is that because here when they are brought to this cheap labor, it's not something that is beautiful. Mm. They, or they get paid for a uh, thousand of dollars. So what they say is they, they have given themselves into the faith and they become more um, the honor danach. What must I say to this word? They are more honor danach people, more low, lowering themselves to beyond even they would take care of the dog even in the house and they are lesser than that, putting themselves like that. And it is allowed by our people, fellow citizens. These are fellow Namibian citizens, and for that matter, they are the Aboriginal people mm -hmm. of this land. Mm -hmm. They should be more highly respected, and their people are not dumb. They know their nature. They know 
they are like a pharmacist, they are like a agriculturist, they are like a culture, traditional uh, cultural person. They, they know all these things. And so we need to bestow that back to them. And really the people that continues to put them at the risk of finding employment, not they don't find, being pushed into employment, children, they marry their children now early away, those things, they need to be stopped. Mm. Uh, we'll continue this conversation shortly, but um, we'll have to go for a short commercial break. Please mm. do stay tuned. Flex is a health and fitness show that focuses on mind, body and spirit. Flex aims to reach all audiences that would love to focus on the health of the mind, body and spirit. The show is broadcasted on NTV, 1up2.com and cross-shared on the following Facebook platforms. The Republican, Algamana Zeitung, Namibian Sun, Namibian Media Holdings, Sports Rep, Irongo, My Zone, We and Ewi. Flex focuses on daily fitness where we will be flexing our muscles, wellness interviews where we will be flexing our mind. For editorial and advertising queries, please contact zone at synergy.com.na. NMH at One brings you news from all corners of Namibia. NMH at One aims to reach viewers countrywide who are interested in current affairs in a short and sweet format. This show is broadcasted on NTV, 1up2.com and cross-shared on the following Facebook platforms. The Republican, Algemeine Zeitung, Namibian Sun, Namibia Media Holdings, Irongo and Vindic Express. To share your news or advertise on this platform, contact nmh1 at synergy.com.na. NMH at 1, your lunchtime news companion. Welcome back to the Evening Review. Uh, Ma'am, do you, do you think government um, is or has done enough to uplift uh, the dignity of the Sun community? Mm -hmm. um, in the past, they were participating in things like drought relief. They were provided with land um, to, to live in. And then they were also uh, in, in, ensured to go around and, and report, for example, to the maintenance office and all to get um, the grants. And then the East uh, Ministry made within the Prime Minister's office that is called the marginalized people, which I was now saying we should not call them like that. So government has tried to give them things, but then there was no monitoring and evaluation. And other strong of people have invaded those lands, for example, mm. and they are back into the margin. So nobody monitors and sees and empowers them to say, this is your land. Also, I think because of ignorance, some of the chiefs are selling the land, and then it creates really problems. I think um, besides that, government provides the grant, child grant, can they get all the pensioners grant, they get. So it's open for them also to participate in this thing. For the Sun community, I think the question of equity should really start because they are more on the bottom, more on the bottom. So they need to be helped to come at par with all of us and then we can be developed. But government has tried. Mm. Mm. And then um, uh, you've, you've touched on uh, the, the experiences that you had with, um, with, 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 with the Sun community. Um, uh, when one looks at the amount of, or the rate of school dropouts and, and teenage pregnancy, um, you also mentioned um, tuberculosis um, 
And I think also want to bring the aspect of um, HIV into the conversation. Mm -hmm. What, what is the lived experience that you are having? What is it that you are seeing and hearing from, 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 from people within the Sun community? What is it that I hear? Um, basically, I think what is there is in the community, the community really is scattered in the first place, um, in different places, um, villages, and they live there. But what is happening is uh, that um, the, the, the people themselves are not, that they are not organized, but they have a united kind of lifestyle. And I think because of that, it's sometimes very difficult to place them into how you can support and provide them with the necessary help. Also, I think in terms of the health of the Sun community, there are clinics, for example, there are health workers, the private doctors that has come to establish themselves and work under the Ministry of Health and so on. But I think because of the lack of food intake, nutritious intake, it also creates quite a sickness and ill health. Mm -hmm. The other question I didn't pick. No, it's just uh, some of the things the 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 the, the, the things that they've talked that they that they speak to you about. You know, mm. what are some of the experiences that you've had encountering these issues, yeah. and how do you deal with it? Mm. And also, yeah, and and then in the health, for example, um, they they don't go and 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 get always treatment. What they say is they would find medicine in the forest, and what they also would. Uh, complain about in, in, in the health is that it's not really a very good support because of their distances where they live. They cannot go to the clinics and so on. So they get sometimes picked up and then go. The things that they talk to me about is the difficulties they have with when children have to go to school. Um, some of the girls are living with a boyfriend, for example, in the house. And uh, then the morning she goes to school. And then she is a grade eight learner or grade seven, which is two complex lives. Mm -hmm. Here you are suddenly a child and here you are an adult woman who lives with your partner or your hus husband or whatever. So that they, they really has, have a problem, but they don't seem to have solutions for that. And that was what we were talking about. They also talk about the concerns about the um, women who are not participating in leadership. In the committees, there are less women. And yet, they are all being trained together. And so the women are asking how they can participate because they feel they are excluded. I also find that they complain about um, there is the power is vested with some of the people who are more higher but not speak sun languages, who invade the land and they bring their cattle. And because they say they are weak, they cannot talk. So they would want a voice of people that can speak on their behalf. Mm. And that's, that's how it, it sometimes works. And I think the other thing is that they are exploited with culture. Some very important lodge owners or some would take them as long as three months make them play, make them do the cultural performances, but not give them the money. So they would ask, how can they do that? So yeah, those things we answer, and we advise, and we refer them to the right officers. And if not getting right, they can come back. That's what we say. Uh, maybe just to add, um, um, uh, to what is your ex to what, when you take these concerns to government, what is the response, and is there, and is there really a willingness um, from from the side of government to address these issues, um, in in your in, in your experience, having observed um, the the lives of the Sun people, and obviously trying to 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 play a helping hand. Um, I think when we, there is a marginalised uh, sector in the government, and that's where we send people to report, but not much is really coming out from there. I also have. Um, a situation where we say the regional councillors and the, the local councillors must help them. And either sometimes you find that you don't find the needed help, 
you find that uh, you must drive to the nearest, like Rotfontein and like Chumep, to make your complaints about maybe initiatives that you want to take or maybe about um, problems that we want to tackle. Mm. So the, the, the achievement with government is very minimum. It's not a large number of achievements. Yeah, the Ministry of Health drives about um, with their mobile visits and they see them there. But the other ministries, no. It's only when wildlife is in conflict with the people. Mm. Thank you very much for joining us on the evening review. Yeah, thank you. And I think um, the sun, we must, I must end by saying they are capable people. We must just enable them with the needed resources and the needed information and acknowledgement. And we will see how they strive with, with their lives. Thank you for tuning in. Good night.